are you today? This is Chandra Davis here with your five minute words of encouragement. Amen. And so uh, today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, just getting on really quickly to encourage you and what how I feel like God is saying to encourage you today. Um, and today I just want to talk about um, just guarding your covenant relationships. Amen. It's so important that we don't give up easily what Jesus Christ died for us to have. Amen. He died for us to have so much. He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him with his stripes we were healed. He he died for us to, to be healed, to be sozoed, fully, fully recovered. Amen. Spirit, soul, and body. And so it's so important. He gives us relationships, you know, um, to uh, covenant relationships. Covenant means agreement. People we're in agreement with. We weren't meant to go through this life alone. You know, we're uh, all jointly fit together and he gives us people to be in agreement with and God doesn't he doesn't want us to give that up easily what he died to that so that we can have and so you know it's so important to guard means to watch over to protect from damage or or harm you know so covenant relationships can be any kind of relationship it could be your spouse your children your parents uh family members business partners pastors ministry partners um anyone that god has connected you with to be in agreement with to do life with these are your covenant relationships and god wants us to guard them and how do you guard them you guard them by keeping them in prayer and you guard them by keeping them under the declaration of the word it's so important that we one that we pray that we we declare this a psalms 91 covering over the things that god has given us god wants us to keep everything he gives us our joy our peace everything and it's so important that's why he said listen guard your heart with all diligence guard your mind guard your soul we have to guard these things and we have to guard our relationships we have to keep open communication cast down imaginations we have to be a people who walk in forgiveness who know how to extend grace and know how to receive grace amen who know how to displace every uh spirit of offense who knows how to recognize offense and not to allow it to to interrupt our our, our life, reject it, amen, and so it's so important that we understand that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You know, when the Bible says, uh, seek him and you'll find and ask and it'll be, uh, it'll be open and knock and the door will be open. Seek and ask and knock, you know, uh, in the Greek it's translated as in seek and keep on seeking, ask and keep on asking, knock and keep on knocking. So it's so important that in this time and this season that we guard what God has given us, regardless of what it is that we fight for our homes, fight for our marriages, fight for our children, fight for those relationships, those people, places and things that God has given us to do life with it's so important that we take the time to guard them we guard them by keeping them in prayer and by keeping them under the declaration of the word do you know that when we declare the word of god got the angels that god has given his charge over us take that word and they bring it forth god's word it runs swiftly and does exactly what he called it to do and it never returns to him boy amen and so we have to come into agreement by keeping our covenant relationships under prayer and keeping them under the declaration of the word fighting the good fight of faith fighting to believe what god said amen fighting to, to to keep open communication, fighting to cast down imaginations, fighting to, to, to be able to identify any strongholds, any lies of the enemy, any tricks, any offense, and to eradicate it, to be quick to, to, to purge out anything that's not like God so that we can keep what God has given us. God doesn't want a weak people where we just give up easily what he's given us. Amen. He wants us to fight for what he has given us. Amen. And so we have to guard those relationships that he's given us. And how do we do that? How ultimately, how do we guard? How do we even recognize when there's an issue it all starts with jesus amen it all starts with making jesus christ your lord and your savior when we give someone lord over us he we give him authority to rule over us amen to to we we surrender our will for his the bible says that we have to deny ourselves pick up our cross daily and follow after him so we first have to do that we first have to deny what we want in life and take upon what he wants for life he said the steps of a good man are ordered and he delights in our way so we we we, we change our mind from living our life how we want and we allow him to do that listen we would love for you to do that today we invite you to make him your lord make him your savior today amen if so many people make him savior but they don't make him Lord. Maybe you've done that already. And maybe you've gotten to the left or the right. Listen, God said he's married to the backslider. He said, if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you. We would love to walk with you. You can do that now. You can do it right where you're at. Jesus said, listen, if you take a step toward me, I'll take a step towards you. You know, God, he's on our side. He is rooting for us. He's, he's not angry with us. He's rooting for us to get it right because today is the day of the Lord's favor. He said, find me while, while I'll still be, may still be found. This is the day that he can be found. We would love to work with you. 
We would love to walk with you. Listen, like us here, David Tips for Daily Living. Subscribe to us. We would love to connect with you. Connect with us. Inbox us. We would love to walk with you. I'm Chandra Davis. My husband, Anthony Davis. We're senior leaders at Kingdom Awakening Church. We meet every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We pray every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom. And in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we do a night watch every first Friday, which happens to be this Friday from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Nothing is done in the earth round without being first birthed in prayer. Amen. We would love to stand in agreement with you. God hears your prayers. Amen. The angels respond to the word of God out of your mouth. This is how you guard. The encouraging word for today is guard your covenant relationships. You guard by keeping them under prayer and keeping them under the declaration of the word of God. God has given us promises and we need to declare those promises out of our mouths. Amen. Listen, share this video today. You may know some people who are struggling in relationships. Do you know that what God gives you, he wants you to keep? Amen. You ha we have to contend for that. Amen. We have to fight the good fight of faith. Fight to believe what God said. If God has given it to you, hold on to it. Keep it. Show grace, extend grace, forgive, love, honor, cherish. Amen. We want to keep the, keep these relationships in our marriages, in our homes, in our children, with our parents. Those God has connected us with. Amen. Listen, if God is able to give it to you, he's able for you to keep keep it. Amen. We have to humble ourselves under his mighty hands. And when we humble ourselves, he, he gives us more grace and he crowns us with victory. Listen today, everybody, guard your covenant relationships. Keep them under the declaration of the word. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like with your children. God is well able to restore. He is a resurrecting God. Amen. He got up from death, hell, and the grave. Amen. And he spoke life over every situation. And we have that same creative power in our tongue. Listen, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Just on here really quickly to encourage you, guard what God has given you. Don't give it up easily, amen? God is on your side and he's rooting for you and fighting for you and fighting with you. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Make it a great day on purpose.